All right, so in this section, we're gonna go through setting up a giveaway. So I'm just gonna show you one that's live so that you can see what someone else has set up and it's gonna give you some ideas. I'm just gonna show you all the features, uh, all the settings you should enable or disable um, and how to improve your giveaway or contest campaigns uh, so that you're getting better conversion rates, you're getting more leads, more social engagements, more purchases and customers. So when you first click on the campaign or you create your own campaign, so this is one that's already made, which we'll go through, but if you're creating a new one, all you have to do is create a new campaign and you choose the type of campaign you want. There's a bunch of options in here. Uh, we are using the uh, viral contest and giveaway. Um, if you wanted to do a referral program or awards program, you would just choose one of those. Um, so there's a bunch of different options there, but this example, we're gonna go through viral contests uh, and giveaways. So hold on, we're gonna go back to the campaign section. And so I'm just gonna show you this one here. It's already set up so that all the content is already in there. So when you load up your campaign, you're gonna have a few steps that you're gonna walk through. So the first one is going to be the sign up view. The next one's gonna be the thank you page. The following is gonna be the settings for your campaign, then the launch step, and then you're gonna have your results at the very end. Now, the other thing to note is up in the top left, you have the option to design all your different uh, types of modes. So the landing page is what we're on currently. You can use an embed form if you want to design your own page and embed the sign up form. Um, another place people do this is they add the embed form to their blog or to the uh, bottom of their website. So that they're constantly getting signups um, and leveraging their website traffic. The other option is to use the widget. So when you just click edit, you'll also have the option to edit your widgets in here as well. Um, but we're gonna stick to the landing page today. And uh, it's very easy to design those other ones as well. But you, they all work together. So I really suggest using the landing page and the widget or the landing page and the embed. Now, a few things to note here is all of the editing options are on the left here. So settings and logos, you're setting like your global settings, I suppose. So it's your, your fonts, your styles. Uh, your colors and all that sort of stuff. Then you've got your header section, which is this top section here. And you can change your headline, subheadline, background. Um, with the background, you can add or remove images. Um, you can also change opacity. So you can see that it's not really easy to read the text here. So you can, might wanna d lower your opacity a little bit here. So you can make the text stand out and really provide um, the user with a great experience and a clear value proposition. Um, the other thing that you can do in the header section is, um, is add, uh, well, you can obviously design and change everything up here, like removing logos and login buttons and all that sort of stuff. The other thing I wanted to point out was adding videos or not. Um, you can add a video in that top section. Uh, you can also add timers, uh, remove that or not. So and then you have button options, content areas and forms. Now, this is a light theme. If you wanted a dark theme, you can change the entire color scheme of this. Everything is editable on this page. Um, so there's no real limitations there. Um, now, just on designing your landing page, make sure you have a really clear uh, proposition for the people landing on this page. So what is this? So this is a, uh, a giveaway for photographers. Great, now why would I enter? Under here, yeah, I've got a bunch of information about why someone should enter. So I'm calling out the exact thing that I'm offering them. So this is a company that does uh, video editing software. And so they're giving away a photographer's ultimate dream pack. So they have their software in there that they're giving away. They're giving away a photographer's backpack. They're giving away a drone and a few more other prizes. And then they're giving a clear call to action there and adding in the timer. Now, this top section is really where you wanna hook someone in to either scroll down and get more, or you want to get them to um, you know, enter straight on the spot. The other thing is you can look at the mobile view as well. So you can see how it's gonna look on mobile. Now, as you scroll down the page, this is when you really get more room to show off what you're giving away. So section out your prizes and it's called, so this is the grand prize and we're saying exactly what we're giving away and then show what you're giving away. So they're giving away the software, we're giving away the backpack here, the photographer's backpack, we're giving away the drone. So really show off the prizes, get people excited about your giveaway and campaign. And the next option, you're gonna have the additional prizes. So this is uh, all the additional things you can win, so it's outside the grand prize, but make sure you're using these line dividers to separate your sections 
and make your content really easy to read and understand. We're also adding some social validation or social proof here. So we're adding the Trustpilot reviews. You can also add you know, testimonials, comments, um, security badges. Uh, you can add in where you've been featured, who uses your products, celebrity endorsements. You can add all sorts of different types of validation there. Um, the other option is to um, add in a little bit of a reminder on how it works. And then you can add the form section. So the form section is actually really cool because you can add in extra, uh, extra fields there if you want to collect more information, if you want to uh, GDPR compliance and also terms and conditions here. Um, so you can edit and generate some uh, default ones and then just add in whatever extra you need or you can uh, enter in your own uh, altogether. So next we're going to go to the thank you page. Now, so once you've uh, got someone excited, you've got someone convinced that they want to enter, now they're going to go to the thank you page. So on the thank you page, um, you have options everywhere to change all the text options. So you might not want to call this uh, rewards, you might want to call this prizes. You can change all of this stuff. Um, now, it's really important to also uh, focus on the bonus actions and the prizes or rewards because the prize and rewards is what are motivating people, so they need to be displayed really well. And then the bonus actions are all the things they need to do in order to win the prizes. Now jumping back up to the header section, you can edit all of that. You can again add videos or timers to there and colored backgrounds and images, that sort of thing. Um, you can add a leaderboard or not, um, so that will add that leaderboard. You can remove that, it's completely up to you. Uh, if you want to have that, leaderboards usually make it a little bit more competitive and it's a good idea to add if you have a placement, like a first, second, third placement prize. Um, for a random winner, it's not so important. Now, one point, thing I wanted to point out for the referrals was that uh, by default, Viper has built-in referral system that will reward people when they refer others to sign up to the giveaway. But if you connect your store uh, to Viper on the launch step, uh, you will be able to also track purchases. So not only will I get rewarded if I refer someone to sign up to the giveaway, but I'll also get rewarded if I refer a friend who makes a purchase. And you can choose how many points you wanna refer that to. The other thing is that once you integrate your store, you can also reward points per dollar spent. Um, now, a great way to do that is to um, really think about uh, what your store is, what you're offering, and if you want to incentivize purchases or if you want to keep this campaign focused on just leads. Um, you can enable or disable the referral option as well. Now, everybody who logs in will have their own unique URL, so it's all tracked on the back end of Viper. And then once you connect up your store, your store will send all the information back to Viper as well on who's referred who and how much they've spent in store and all that sort of stuff. Now, the bonus actions are, this is where you would enable or disable the dollar spent option, but the bonus actions are really important. So you can see a few here. So we've got like download trial, we've got uh, engage with social, so leave comments, share content, uh, tag friends, that sort of stuff. Then we've also got, um, you know, following on Instagram, uploading an Instagram story, uh, liking us on Facebook, all that sort of thing. So we have a bunch of options when it comes to bonus actions. So here is where you rearrange them. You can delete, duplicate, or edit. And then if you wanted to add a new one, you have all of these templates here that are pre-built. And you can go through these and choose whichever ones you want. If there's something that you want to incentivize that's not in the template, you can also create your own. So you can choose an icon and go through there. There's hundreds of icons in there. Then you can decide what you want that person to do, how many points you want to give them, give them some instructions, give them the URL that you need to go to to complete that action, and then you can make it a daily action or not, and then you can choose the type of way that you want to validate that action. So you can do it automatic, so they just get the points as soon as they click to go and complete the action. You can make it a multiple choice, um, and down the bottom you can require a correct answer or not, um, you can also manually review these or not. So if you wanted to have an open-ended question, you could write, what is the code? Um, and say, it was someone signing up to Messenger, and you could say, what is the code? What is the secret code? It could be one, two, three. Does this have a correct answer? Yes, you could write in one, two, three. And do you want to manually review this or not? Um, so there's a bunch of options in here on how you can, um, you can pretty much incentivize anything, and then there's a bunch of options on how you can uh, uh, how you can validate that. 
Now, when it comes to the rewards, similar thing, you can, re you can edit these and you can rearrange them, that sort of thing. And so when we take a look at the grand prize, um, you have the options up here on the different types of rewards you have. So we're using other. So this will allow you to describe the prize however you like. So in this point, we're saying uh, chosen at random, but you could say first place, second place, third place, etc. Or you can use uh, milestones, redemptions, or tiers. I'm gonna show you that in a second. But essentially you just need to make sure you have a nice image here uh, showing off what the prize is, uh, and then you want to, you can add in any extra information. So you can see the title here, the description, and then extra information if you need to clarify anything about the prize or reward. Now, the other option here is the um, milestones. So let's take a look at this, for example. They're giving 20% off if you um, collect 2,000 points. So you can see here that you set 2,000 points and you have the option to edit the email that gets sent out. So once they reach 2,000 points, Viper will send out an email and, it will, and you wanna put the instructions in there on how to collect that, how your participants are gonna collect that prize. Um, you can use these short codes here and if you want to give out unique codes, you can also add them into your coupon bank down here. Um, there's a lot of options there on how you wanna do that. So that's kind of how you do the bonus actions and the prizes. There's a lot of options for designing the sign up and the thank you page. Again, use the landing page and the widget or the landing page in the embed. Now, once you have designed everything, that's when you get into your settings. So you connect your email service provider if you like, or you can use Zapier and webhooks. Um, the other options down here is to um, how you wanna treat uh, people who uh, flat, I get flagged for being a cheater. So you can disable or enable that. You can put in your email address. Um, you can also decide to enable or disable um, the confirmation email and you can edit the confirmation email. So this is the email they're gonna get as soon as they sign up. Um, it's a good idea to put a little bit of information. Um, now, once you have launched your giveaway, you're not gonna be able to edit this unless you pause your giveaway because this will affect everybody currently in the giveaway. But here you'll see that there is uh, points to confirm your email. So you can choose how many points you wanna confirm or you wanna give someone for confirming that email. It's really important to get them to confirm that email because that shows a higher interest in your brand. The next section here is require email confirmation to complete bonus actions. So this means if you wanna have really high quality, require people to confirm their email address before they can even get to the thank you page. The next one is require email confirmation before you automatically push your emails to your ESP. So this is to keep a really high quality in your email service provider. Um, this last option is only give points for referrals if the referrer confirms their email address. So I highly suggest that you enable this so that anybody who gets referred the person referring only gets the points if they've confirmed that email address. You can also ban IP addresses, add in tracking code, all that sort of stuff. You wanna add in uh, your global tags or global tracking into this top box because this is all pages. And then the thank you page is uh, only for your confirmation or like your completion tags. Um, last option down here is to do the social validation. So you can add a favicon, you can uh, enable or disable the social proof and, um, and you know, there's a bunch of stuff that you can do with that, uh, with the different ways that you can name it. So you could say someone who has just entered, someone who just claimed a prize, someone who's um, just redeemed a prize, that sort of thing. Now, when you get to the launch step, this is where you're gonna uh, finish up your settings for your campaign. So you have a start and end date, or the other option is you can make this evergreen. Um, evergreens are great because you can draw someone weekly or monthly, and it's just a really easy concept for people to grasp. Add in all of your metadata and meta information. So that's you know how it's gonna show up on social or whenever somebody links out to it. You wanna turn it live or switch your campaign live or not. So you can switch between live or not live. And then this last section is gonna be publish and install. So this is gonna have your URL for your giveaway. Uh, if you wanna add a subdomain, you can do that. And the subdomain means that your entire campaign is gonna be hosted on your subdomain. So it would be like, contest.yourdomain.com and then all of the referral links and all the share links will also be your own domain. Now you have the code for the embed form. Remember you can design that on the sign up and the thank you step. And then you'll have the code for the widget. Again, you'll design those on the sign up and the thank you step. 
Um, the other option down here is if you're using a subdomain or if you're using embed, you can actually choose to have people, when they share their link, uh, redirect to a different page. So if by default, it will direct to the Viper landing page because the Viper landing page is the one we designed. It's really fast loading. It has the clear uh, structure on value and benefits to the person signing up to the giveaway. But if you, for example, have a different page that you designed yourself, or you want to uh, get people sharing their referral links and instead linking to a sales page or a blog post, which you have the widget on, you would then want to choose, uh, choose your own landing page. And whatever you put in here is the page that is going to get shared when people uh, share their referral link. Again, this is how to uh, install the tracking for stores. You can do Shopify and connect with the Shopify app, or you can use the HTML in there. Um, so once you go through all of that, your campaign is ready, you can just click live and you're good to go. And the other option here is to take a look at all of the information that we have in here on how to promote your campaigns. On the last step, uh, we have the results. So you'll see a list of all of your participants. You'll be able to go through all of your manual review bonus actions. You can pick winners in here. Um, so this will pick them at random. So that's a very easy way to pick them. And then you just notify them once they've won. Also, another thing to look at is, um, you know, you can click on people's uh, profiles and you can go into that profile and take a look to see if anybody else has signed up under their IP address. You can have a look at all of their referrals, which IP address they signed up for, how many points that referrer has, if they're a cheater or not, if they confirm their email or not. Um, then you can take a look at if they've purchased and then any referrals who have purchased. Um, you have a cheater analysis done there. You can mark them as a cheater, delete them or ban them. You can resend their confirmation email. You can take a look at all of the bonus actions uh, that they have completed and the answer that they submitted when they were validating that. And you can also see the breakdown of all of their points, how they earn their points. And you can add and sub subtract points from them as well. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do in there. But um, yeah, definitely take a look through um, setting up your own campaign and it's really basic. Uh, just follow the steps through, make sure that you are really thinking about the end user and how you can provide value to them and then in exchange you'll get value back. So let me know if you've got any questions but hopefully this was helpful in running you through how to set up a viral contest or giveaway with Viper.